namaste uh, viewers and uh, especially dr saraswati hegde uh, to the diva session as uh, new people uh, don't know about it this uh, series is started to speak to uh, wonderful women who have done enormous job for the betterment of society in spite of their own challenges their own hurdles or their own hiccups they have come out of that uh, comfort zone and taken beautiful initiatives which will benefit to the masses and i want to share their stories with the world with uh, a lot of respect and you can say this is my tribute to all of them and uh, today's guest is uh, dr saraswati hegde her uh, introduction is really vast and uh, let me pick up few important points so she is a sanskrit scholar and uh, pranic healer is her uh, major identity her journey as a teacher to acharya that is something we will know and uh, she is also a founder of uh, unnati foundation which works in uh, pranic healing uh, sector especially and her worry or her concern is um, adolescent and uh, misled crowd or youth who need help in uh, channelizing their energy and coming to the right path and that's our focus point which is a need of the hour so we'll have more discussion on that topic as well also we will uh, know more from her about uh, since she has more interest in meditation and yoga so something will touch based on that as well and this masa being a hindu a concept of uh, adhik masa and which is important for the purushottam yoga so we will possibly touch base on that topic as well uh, formally uh, we welcome you uh, saraswati madam to the diva session thanks for coming with such a short notice i really appreciate uh, your time and your contribution so please introduce yourself if i have missed something no 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 you have done the extensive introduction let us get into the topic thank you for your loving welcome and it's my privilege to share the joy of you know the journey with all my fellow beings brothers and sisters thank you for invitation yes thank you my pleasure so how did the journey start uh, from being a professor to the acharya <clears throat> yeah it's a beautiful journey you know when i was teaching in a very prestigious institution in bangalore before entering mm-hmm. that institution i had a feeling that there is no one failed there are only two such uh, premier institutions in bangalore i was working for one and i was under the image that there is no fails uh, fail students at all when i heard the result i was shocked that there are lot of students failed teaching in a prestigious institution and it is one of the very top most institution in bangalore i realized that even in that institutions where students used to get the admission 95 plus mm-hmm. score and they used to fail it means it's not just the intelligence mm-hmm. or ability to get score in a 10th mm-hmm. class what sustains them on the path mm-hmm. i started applying yes. the learned whatever the techniques i learned through pranic healing i started applying on them and started seeing mm-hmm. lot of great results it inspired me you know once we get into rational thinking and educational system we yes. don't accept things so easily we don't believe so, true initially i started thinking if the healing is so simple mm-hmm. why do we have so many hospitals yeah. why do we have so many diseases everything can be cured like this true that was my approach uh-huh. i started experimenting mm-hmm. started experimenting on the students mm-hmm. whenever i used to go as a invigilator in the examination mm-hmm. hall mm-hmm. i used to bless them i used to pray i used to heal if somebody was not very comfortable it mm-hmm. used to really give very good result he started Wonderful. making me feel very you know confident oh this works whether they are aware or not whether we believe it or not it works yes then yes. from yes. there i started continuing the experiment started continuing started believing because i am into this openness towards the energy it is working i went and experimented the same techniques in open air jail mm. we have a open air jail where they are not criminals but due to some mm. situations they uh, uh, they might have come into the jail that's an experimental basis okay. it was 
-hmm. And from one family, there were uh, nine plus people in the same uh, place. All men were in the jail. Oh my goodness. That was a very, you know, the youngest boy was around uh, 20 years. He got arrested once uh, he uh, entered 18 years. Hmm. And the anger, the irritation that boy hmm. had was so hmm. much. Hmm. When I taught these meditation techniques to them, mm -hmm. initially they were very tight. Gradually they started transforming themselves. I hmm. went to there for a week, that's all. Hmm. The last day that young boy was talking about, first time ever I felt thankful for coming inside the jail. I have learned the lesson of my life. If mm -hmm. your session was not there, I would have gone out as a criminal. Now I have transformed. I have learned my lesson. My heart is filled with compassion now. Okay. It has really opened up my eyes. That day I had a lot of fear, tears in my eyes. I realized mm -hmm. these techniques are so powerful. Mm -hmm. And during the same time, mm -hmm. I was also visiting one more nearby school and sharing these teachings, techniques, helping them to change their energy, their approach, attitude. <coughs> Last day, you know, yeah. that yeah. environment, they are all from very, very, very poor background. Getting one meal was very difficult. I'm talking about 20 years back. That time this midday meal yeah. was not available. And one child among them, he, he so, so touched by me that he heard something and he came and offered a chocolate. That yeah. time maybe it was a 10 paisa chocolate. Uh -huh. For that child, the chocolate was so important. The child was not having sufficient food to eat. Getting that 10 paisa, getting a gift yes. for me, that 10 yes. the chocolate, even was it now, big? I yes. felt we have more responsibility to reach out. Absolutely. When the love given by them, the transformation what we have seen in them, yeah. giving yeah. back to something, in, it's coming yeah. to their heart. Yeah. We should really work on this. From there, it has gone deep into my heart that I should do something for children. Never stop. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I'm coming to that point. Uh, I have some questions. And uh, for me, pranic healing is something new, personally. So I uh, have a lot of questions myself. Also, <clears throat> I think uh, we have an audience who also equally curious to know more from you. So let me take my share first and then I'll hand over to them. Uh, generally, uh, or rather the, the upbringing I have or uh, the way I have been um, trained is a strong mind is the foundation of the society. And uh, those who are in a very comfort zone or who have a very uh, lavish lifestyle or uh, do not see challenges of life, they are the one who find it difficult to face the failures. And uh, they are the one who find it more challenging to accept the reality. And we can count the numbers of such examples. But do you think that is something which is uh, making the society weaker day by day? I'll introduce one more concept here. Sure. This is the Indian philosophy, yogic philosophy. Definitely. We talk about five koshas. Annamaya kosha, pranamaya kosha, manumaya kosha, vijnanamaya kosha, anandamaya kosha. Yes. All these koshas, koshas are like another bodies. Yeah. We need to build. Especially as we, uh, maybe food is taken care, all comforts are given. If the mm. wisdom is missing, then they feel empty. Mm. They don't know how to change, face the challenges. All these five bodies need strength, stamina. It should be fed. It should be strengthened regularly. Mm. That is what is important. As we grow, nowadays, the education system or the society mm. is focused on mm. only on materialistic mm. life. The spiritual essence, once it is missing, mm. will not be able to go beyond finding the purpose of life. If it is missing, then they can't face or they conclude life even to that extent. So we need to focus more on holistic approach, holistic development. And yes, the yes. next generation, all the parents who are listening to this, be um, 
effortful in bringing a change in your children don't provide too much comforts yes. expose them for hardship yes. childhood is the time to train them to face the hardship true later they can manage themselves allow them to do their job even yes. though you have servants to do the wash the yes. place ask them yes. to wash the place ask yes. them to wear their shoes socks keeping things on, on <laughs> right place teach them the basics of life because all of us will get the time to take a decision in our life alone nobody will be there that is the time very important we have to remember that we can transfer our prosperity to children but we can also we should also transfer our richness of experience also to children we should remember both makes a lot of sense makes a lot of sense absolutely uh okay today's youth uh, i compare with my uh, young younger days or teenage time i think we were not exposed to the media as much as today's kids are we it was not an internet age and uh, i think even the doordarshan was in its uh, teenage uh, phase i would say so but in spite of that my generation and of course generation before me are well equipped and more uh, strong in facing the life as it comes and deal with the situation as it comes on the contrary today's youth uh, having a good amount of uh, luxury even the uh, technology and exposure to the whole world now actually in today's context also they have to become is the reality because we are able to connect with the person at any corner of the world in a fraction of a second in spite of such a comfortable or suitable background youth is misled or uh, no orientation and they are getting dragged by wrong concepts or uh, destructive thoughts or uh, i would say damaging their own career so that is something i'm i know you are working on it very actively so please let us know how are you dealing with such situations okay what is the human nature mm -hmm. Like our generation. In case if you have some trouble, what do you do? You talk to somebody. You yeah. call somebody. You share your trouble. This is the human requirement. Yes. At home, yeah. if you have a children, earlier days, maybe if I look back my childhood, I had lot of people, small children from younger age to the elder, you know. Zero to twenty-five. Yes, yes. We had all age groups to learn from. Yeah. Every behavior was not taught to us. We saw, we behave, we yeah. learned from them. Yeah. Are we providing that environment for learning? That's the first question. Yeah. Second yeah. is children. Example: two-year-old child yeah. is learning only from father and mother. True. Child feels equal into father and mother. child has not seen another child and how to behave that is not taught so yeah. their behavior their learning process is up, obstructed yeah. another added point is we focus more on talking giving instruction yeah. than listening yeah. we are so busy we feel and we convince ourselves yeah. i did not had all these facilities i am providing you you should do it yeah. we are not realizing see there is the law of nature is everyone should learn from the nature everybody yes. will have a struggle yes do we know the struggle of the young community have we ever realized what kind of loneliness they go through at that age the age of joy age of happiness children are going through loneliness depression lack of sharing lack of communication and with parents it's not a open communication yeah. we tell them don't do this why children revert back because they are seen how to behave only from the parents if the parents are very tough children also become something like that we have to be very very clear that is why we have to develop a community living in the sense how i used to do you know bringing my child's age group children having programs at home 
Okay. Allow them to play. If you are having only one child, bring similar age group children. Allow them to play. Okay. Tell them stories. Tell them whatever you want to teach them. It's like an activity based. We should have that so that they will know how to take care of yeah. children. Now from Unnati, what we are doing, we call it three groups we have made. One is adolescent related age group. Second one is the primary. The one, one more is pre-primary. So that even though they are learning through internet, they see each other. They come forward and we are able to teach them the lessons of our ancient stories, wisdom, values, respecting parents. Teaching one child is difficult. Teaching in a group is easy. Our education system is not providing. We are not able to provide it at home because of the single child problem or maximum two children. Yeah. No cousins or no relatives yeah. coming. Family family. Concept. Yeah. So this is where the root cause is. We need to address that part. Mm. And mm. both parents working is another mm. challenge. We are able to provide the materialistic comfort, not the inner emotional comfort. We need to focus more on that, isn't it? If you really look at children's situation, I'll just ask, generally ask parents, mothers, one day if your cooking was not appreciated, you feel bad. The same with father, if your action is commented, you feel so bad. Put yourself in child's place. How often do you appreciate your child? Other than regular standard dialogues of I love you, I care you, you are very good. Other than that, is it coming spontaneously, naturally? Do you really appreciate your child? Have you ever made your child to feel that you appreciate them? Accepted them? If the child is not competent enough, they feel miserable. They are not accepted even school, even at home. That kind of criticism, even at this age, we may not be able to take it. It is so tough for children, isn't it? I always feel, yes. really, I feel for them. But they look different. What they go through is different. So take care of children. Yes. Do yes. not make them push towards and, uh, finding somebody, some alternative, okay. either to friends or either to drugs or some other uh, media or some other uh, um, ga gadgets. Please make sure, provide that human touch. Very important. Very important. Very, very important. In fact, uh, and they, as I say, as the world is evolving, they are getting more exposure and uh, with the development and technology, they are getting more ways to uh, look for other channels and that is what is vulnerable and they are not sure which way to go. So that's where the society plays a major role and people like you and Unnati Foundation especially are giving that uh, direction to them which is the right way and you're right they have a lot of energy and that needs to be channelized in a proper manner now the next now that you said uh, about the families or the parents uh, giving the required infrastructure to children not only materialistic life but also the moral values and the strong foundation also uh, people i mean in general the adults adults not even adults adults who are um, in their career, who are into their business or women also for that matter. They are becoming psychologically quite weak and uh, they're finding very small discomfort also is becoming difficult for them to handle. And a lot many times they go through a lot of panicky situation, frustration and uh, not able to handle their own temperament and that is something affects their families and we see um, family life is getting badly disturbed what is your uh, view on that part as well okay society is like a finger five fingers we have different size different similarly one five fingers make the hand yes together we make a family Women mm -hmm. are pressurizing themselves. Yeah. It's a kind of self-punishment. Mm -hmm. If I am working, 
if i am earning then only i have some respect that is the false image created for women when women feel strong enough to say this is the time i need to give time to my child i don't want to work next 6 years i don't want to work the ultimate profession is to take care of my children that kind of power should be given to women especially they should not be oh you are a homemaker that attitude should be released that you know professional shame should be released they should be respected for what they are they are good certain levels and in the name of career progress one should not affect as a human beings as a females even now we all feel that we need recharge we recharge ourselves being in a very comfortable family environment we should accept it this is what we love this is what we respect this is what we deserve we should be ready enough to seek that support and we should never try to become equal and to men we don't need to ah yeah. and they are not superior the superiority is women in women they should not come down in terms of strength in terms of even in courage women are more courageous yes the science absolutely. the research talks about it they should not step down they should try to pull the men up not get down Mm. getting into addiction getting into pub getting into all mm. these things makes me equal and to men should that attitude should go should go yes attitude should be brought into men being with family members being joyfully is the purpose of life yeah that concept should be spread don't mm. pollute your concepts mm. you love to be with your family just do it accept yeah. yourself yeah that is very very important you know dropping certain times when you cannot handle certain things you must open up and say don't try to become perfect mm. also i have seen a lot of people some guests are coming home they overburden themselves they want to show that everything is perfect that attitude among women should be released yeah. showing of approach should be released accepting yes. life as it comes yeah. some days can't do it should they should be able to open mm. enough space it is not about laziness it's about no. the fact what is happening with them yeah or if they are not feeling comfortable they must be able to today i am feeling upset i need time for myself i am angry or i need appreciation they should be open enough to seek that kind of empowerment helps them a lot instead of that what they expect is they expect others to understand respect them appreciate them which cannot happen the modern era is more about what i feel what i do what i want so they must be gentle enough not rude not tough with themselves yes soft enough but purpose of life to be should be understood so this yeah and i think why sir yeah and vice versa also yeah. they should not be uh, disowning the responsibilities of family and uh, getting as you say in the process of proving yourself you shouldn't be uh, ignoring the uh, core uh, kartavya that you have and the duties that you have as a family bone a backbone uh, and uh, as you rightly said earning mother is not the only capable woman there are mothers who are sitting home but they are more capable and more uh, courageous who can you could uh, channelize life to their family to uh, tell me what is pranic healing actually okay it's a healing which uses mm-hmm. the energy energy is everywhere mm-hmm. pancha bhutas we receive energy our body the life uh, is existing till the prana is with our body when the person dies prana is gone we say yeah. the, it's a source which makes the body alive mm-hmm. we receive and utilize the energy through our chakras 
Shat Chakra concept is very common for Indian philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yoga science talks about that. Yeah. We have a different chakras. Mm -hmm. It receives energy, utilizes energy and releases the energy. For some reasons, maybe our food, our lifestyle, or our thought process or external influences mm -hmm. affects the functioning of the chakra. It can't function as it is supposed to be done. Then it is obstructed. Stability is affected. Then supporting that chakra, recharging that chakra, understanding where the problem is, releasing that diseased, old, old used up energies or emotional blocks, whatever is released and recharging process is called pranic healing. It's yeah. healing. And it, it, you need of some the medication. trained person to do that. Sorry? You need some trained person to do that yes. for yes. anyone. Yeah. It, it involves the training. We also train people. It is so ah. simple and systematic. Mm -hmm. We use it as yogic healing. It's a combination of yogic science and the healing of through energy. Mm -hmm. In two days time, you can learn and heal others, even heal people distantly. I, okay. The way we train in one hour time, one hour time, mm. you mm. will be able to release the pain of somebody else. Which wow. is, even to take a medicine, painkiller works at least 10 minutes, that lag time yes. is required. You can yes. Yes. Every young mother should learn this so mm -hmm. that they and prevent unnecessary medication for their children. Mm -hmm. Whoever has diabetes, blood pressure, all this mm -hmm. chronic disease, they should learn. Because why we get all these problems? There is something is not mm -hmm. working in the aura properly. Yes. If yes. you know how to strengthen your aura, further complications mm -hmm. can be minimized and the recovery process will be faster. This is what the pranic healing does. It re the healer knows how to receive and channelize the energy. In heading the department of pranic healing in MS Ramaya Medical College for research. Mm. We have documented how healing works even on cancer patients, even on children chronic home, so that you know before taking them to hospital, you have so much things to do. Earlier days, the grandnies used to give Drishti, that's Nazar, yeah. they used to give yeah. Kashayam, they used to do some massaging, they yes. used to do the first therapy. True. Now we have missed out. We must learn, replace it with, the, if it is tradition is lost, bring healing into your home. Have one healer at home. Yeah. So that unnecessary visit to the hospital is minimized. If uh... Mm, uh, doctors, uh, I mean, someone has asked that to me in chat box that if a professional doctor or psychiatrist uses pranic healing, can they cure the patient? Yes. Okay. If they are medical doctors, professional doctors, for them, two advantages. One is, mm -hmm. uh, since I am working with Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Karnataka, visiting mm -hmm. all, almost all medical colleges. Most of the doctors say when they interact with the patients or not with all patients, mm -hmm. some patients after treating them, they are feeling negatively affected. They don't know uh, some unusual feelings, uncomfortable, not the same with all the patients. They can protect from all unnecessary energies, unnecessary uh, energy contamination around them. That mm -hmm. is very important. They oh, need to protect themselves as the virus is affecting everyone. Unknowing the psychological virus is affecting, the energy virus is affecting doctors, they can help themselves. If doctors have understood the healing process, okay. they know how to treat better mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. they have understood the anatomy and physiology, they know how to work. Energy has mm -hmm. so beautiful concept. If you have more and more details, mm -hmm. your accuracy will be wonderful. Healing becomes ah, okay. accurate and specific. Energy I'm can sorry. go to any particular part. I also I have a lot of medical students, doctors as my students. Uh -huh. We have done extensive, extensive research. Wonderful. They say in extreme cases they could pray, they could heal, they could bless mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. protect their children. patients also. Came okay. coming out of crisis. We okay. have one more beautiful thing. I have some 
gynecologist who are practicing this mm -hmm. particular gynecologist if there is any emergency immediately she will put it in a message mm -hmm. doing this can you please help this patient we will not be knowing this patient is that right but we all are filled with so much of compassion towards others you know the stage is one is protecting oneself mm -hmm. second part is healing them directly third part right. is seeking healing to help your patients it's very important doctor should be made sensitive oh that's that's really beautiful now coming to the current scenario covid has not affected all the nations not only india but all the nations not only uh, economically but uh, the mental health of the society has gone for toss and uh, i must say that uh, is just a sheer fear of uh, will i be positive uh, will my neighbor transform it to me or if i go to the shop will i get affected that kind of uh, subconscious mind is extremely affected and uh, not only kids but every single person is getting depressed and uh, psychologically disturbed can you and a team uh, build such a infrastructure where in every corner of at least bangalore such a uh, group of people are available and i what i understood from your uh, explanation is you need not know the person you just can work with that person remotely and give him that positive energy and uh, also heal him to some extent so i think this can be a wonderful model that can be implemented across the city and of course we can expand it further so at least people get some sort of comfort that everything is not as bad as they think what 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 do you think is is it doable we have done it you done it okay. we have done first part the first time ever you might have seen how doctors are affected yeah. we have done the work for doctors we did a series you can visit our youtube channel unnati healing foundation okay covid warriors we have made a series where uh, positive people and they talk about talked about positively about how to take life various stuff areas we have covered now yeah. we are working for teachers how yeah. to bring the strength back into themselves also we had lot even now we are getting lot of calls and patients who need help who need help i'll share two incidents one there was a session i was taking and there was a person video was on it was a two hour session he was on a bed in a hospital and he was feeling breathless he went to share his name the two hour session end of the session he sat i was teaching them my exercise i told him if you can't do it it's okay but he sat on his bed and started doing moving his body and started doing the fear is affecting too much of their system they are not able to cope up because the coping up mechanism is affected shattered due to fear there is one more survey more than the result positive tested positive the fear is causing heart attack so cardiac arrest is happening because of the fear we have to address the fear factor i always right. tell them that you are please contact us also we are taking online sessions every mm -hmm. evening 8 o'clock we have a session on blessing the world anybody can join that prayer it goes with the google meet you can just send us a message we will send you the link and it's open to everyone the two languages english and kannada the mess happening it has helped the hundreds and hundreds of people from the beginning 23rd march till now it is going on it will continue and twice a week also we teach about bhagavad gita how to implement the healing approach of bhagavad gita practical application of bhagavad gita is on mm. on monday and uh, wednesday and saturday is a free healing for everyone anybody can approach but other than this of course unnati has its own structured yeah. supportive yeah. treatment yeah. which is paid i am not talking yeah. about the paid module i am talking about no. these things are freely available please yeah. make use of it make sure that you are strong emotionally strong equipped to manage your life Yes. Yes. You have action. This is your life. True. So that is what message. Especially when mm -hmm. you have a children at home. Mm -hmm. Compassion. Be kind. Don't have yes. rest. 
don't get affected by their behavior because their behavior is not trained the way we are got trained by our uh, way of life so building our nation by investing on our next generation is very important you know before concluding i would like to say on the wedding yeah. uh, during kanya dahan you know the what is it been told father says to his son in law dharma praja pratipar pratipatyartam imam kanya to create a next healthy rightful uh, uh, generation i am yes. providing my daughter to you the, there is a purpose for marriage for men after wedding the last samskara is antya samskara till then their job is to provide a healthy children healthy in the mind healthy body healthy behavior healthy moral yes. values Yes. That is what their ultimate goal is. Together, they are supposed to generate the good generation. Whatever the culture values we have received, if it be transferred to the next uh, to so give back to the society, that is what our responsibility is. Don't forget, this is what my responsibility. Now, write it down. How children behave is not important. How we look at it, how we handle it. finally how we mold them as a pro social beings not anti social that is why children are given to us yeah. to get a children yeah. it's a joint venture with god trust on us god has given us children okay. let god continue to have a trust on us that these people will take care of these children very well let us take care of them very well and give back to community they are not our personal properties our responsibility mm. is to mm. make them a healthy body healthy mind mm. and to do a better service to the community we should give them back to community that should be our approach let us take up this responsibility to build the next generation our the generation is the only one which has seen non technological generation and the generation which is born with technology we have yes. a responsibility we yes. have to transfer it to the next generation yes and i would like to add uh, one more angle to it and not forget the previous generation who have given us the foundation they are equally important and we should also keep in mind that they are part of the society and they are the one who have given us life and it's now our job to uh, give them that comfort that affection and that care what they deserve very well deserve and uh, they also make society one last yeah, uh, rightly said when we give respect to them it's yeah. a role model for children to respect yes. their parents and their grandparents yes true yeah. and uh, in the beginning as i said it's 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 not what we teach they learn by example and how we lead by example they learn by observing us so it's our job to be a noble citizen and a good human being and now it is a uh, adhik masa and pushyottam yoga 15 chapter is the chapter which is advised to chant because how you become a perfect human being and a divine person more than a human being uh, so one last uh, message i want from you uh to the women or to the society in general and then we will open for the question and answer session okay if you take up uh, the quotation from bhagavad gita yadya dacharati shreshtah when you understand when the great people whatever they do we all follow knowingly or unknowingly parents especially mother grandmother sister whatsoever form you do it you are the embodiment of love you are the embodiment of compassion and kindness whatever you do the next generation will follow children will follow purushottama yoga is the ultimate within you manifest your greatness we all of us have our own great qualities let us focus on strengthening our great qualities so that that is manifested and easy for others to follow easy for others to follow so when we talk about adhika masa whatever you do multiplies it's a time to do uh, 
uh, you know the small short story I would like to say in Upanishad there is one uh, Manama, Rakshasa and the Devatas. They did a great penance and finally Brahma came. He gave the boon, the, the, the. What is the meaning of the for Devatas? What is the meaning for Manusha? Manamas, it is for Dhamma, Dana and Daya. Daya for Rakshasas, show mercy. Dana for human beings. Dhamma, that control, self-control is for Devatas, Indra de Devatas. For a human being, Dana, give. Life is not for accumulation. It is for giving, it is for sharing. Whatever we give, we receive. If you have one that approach, one internal transformation, so once we start giving, we realize what is required. Then you really become a Purushottama. One day you just close your eyes and visualize, if I am God, what I would have done for everyone. Then visualize yourself in front of you and if I am God and if I see these many mistakes in me, what kind of punishment God would have given but he has not given. How compassionate he is. When you bring those qualities, you will be able to give, forgive, including forgive, give. Dana is the important thing we need to practice. Adhikamata is meant for Dana, Japa, Tapa, doing good things so that your qualities are multiplied. And ultimately, you become a divine person. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's wonderful. Um, lots of, lots of, lots of dhanyavad to you for uh, such a wonderful session. And uh, I think we all got to know more about uh, uh, not only pranic healing, but the yogic touch that you spoke about in the beginning. And also the actual meaning of Vadik Masa, it, is, it multiplies. So better good to do good things, so it will multiply. And uh, somewhere it will show in your life, you will get good returns. With this, we'll end the session. I think uh, I don't know how to say thanks to you, but I wish uh, lots of good luck and a, a nice journey to your uh, foundation. And let me know something I can do for uh, your trust, your people. I'm more than happy. 